स्टार्ट द ब्रीफ फैक्ट्स ऑफ द केस आर दैट ए सिविल सूट फॉर परमानेंट इंजंक्शन वाज फाइल्ड इन द नेम ऑफ प्लेटिव थ्रू हिज अटॉर्नी दैट इज द प्रेजेंट रिविजनिस्ट अगेंस्ट द डिफेंडेंट नंबर वन एंड डिफेंडेंट नंबर टू म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ डेली स्टॉप ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ प्रोसीडिंग्स इट वॉज इन्फॉर्म्ड टू द कोर्ट that the plaintiff had already expired in the year 1984 itself whereas the suit was filed on 26 2004 and hence the learned court directed the plaintiff and his attorney to appear in person stop however none had appeared for the plaintiff or the said attorney and rather on 14 10 2004 an application was moved to withdraw the said suit but the learned court proceeded to conduct an inquiry under section 340 crpc stop the said order dated 99 2004 was challenged before the appellate court but the appeal was dismissed holding that the suit could not have been filed by an attorney on behalf of a dead person as the attorney if any came to an end with the death of the principal stop para the said complaint filed by the learned civil court was subsequently sent to the court of learned cmm these hazari courts on the ground of jurisdiction and wide the impugned order dated 226 2018 the learned cmm delhi has framed the charges against the revisionist oblique accused under sections 193 196 and 199 indian penal code stop being aggrieved by the said order the revisionist has preferred the present revision on the following grounds full column para that the learned trial court has erred in holding that at the time of framing of charge the court need not to appreciate the evidence or to go its credibility stop that the accused oblique revisionist had already withdrawn the civil suit on the technical ground that the suit has become infructuous and there was no suit pending when an order was passed by the learned civil judge that an inquiry be made whether plaintiff was alive or dead at the time of filing the civil suit stop para that he has failed to produce any document that plaintiff was not alive at the time of filing of the suit and it is defendant number 1 who had made a false information that plaintiff had expired before the date of filing of the suit and the learned civil judge has not made any inquiry till the filing of the complaint under section 340 crpc and hence the learned trial court ought to have dismissed the complaint stop that the learned trial court has erred in holding that there has never been any dispute that plaintiff had already expired in the year 1984 stop para that the complainant court as well as the learned trial court nowhere stated either in the complaint or in the impugned order on what basis or evidence the court reached to the conclusion that plaintiff died in the year 1984 and wrongly held that in the affidavit filed by the revisionist oblique accused before the civil court he never disputed the factual position that plaintiff was very much alive as on the date of filing of the suit stop para that the learned trial court has erred in holding that neither the attorney oblique revisionist appeared before the court nor gave any specific explanation and chose to evade the court proceedings stop 
however the learned trial court held that the accused has filed reply in civil court denying all the allegations which itself are contradictory contradictory stop para that the learned trial court has wrongly held that the revisionist has not filed any attorney executed by a plaintiff and without cogent evidence presumed on the basis of hearsay evidence that plaintiff expired in the year 1984 stop para that no statement was recorded by the civil court on the person who informed the court that plaintiff had died in the year 1984 and even no inquiry was initiated against the revisionist stop 